So today we're going to look at adding disk space monitors for Windows machines within HP IMC. Um, why we want to do this? Well, this is part of the single pane of glass story. It's nice to have everything in one interface so that all your alarms from your networking devices as well as your servers are now starting to come into the single interface. Makes just a lot of efficiencies. Um, as well, servers host network services, so it's nice if the server team is aware when a, um, a, a server that's hosting network services might actually be run out of disk space, i.e. it's going to stop doing that. And the last one, which is just kind of a nice thing to have, is maybe you might want to be able to warn the server team before something bad happens. So hopefully the server team also has their monitoring tools in place, whether that's an HP SIM or a Microsoft System Center. All those are great, but it's really nice to be able to have two people looking at it, right? Hopefully we'll be able to proactively make sure that we can fix these things before bad things happen. So let's take a look. So here we are on the IMC homepage. We're going to go up to the right hand corner and go look at the query button. And we're going to go find the Windows server that we set up for SNMP monitoring in the last video. So 10.101.0.205, click go. Here we are. Um, we're going to go click in here. We're going to make sure that this is actually the server we were looking at. We can see that Yes, definitely. This is a Windows server. SNMP is turned on. Um, it's also in virtual device, so we know it's running as a VM guest. Now we're going to go over to monitoring settings underneath performance management. So we're going to click on add monitor button. And then first thing we're going to do is select the index that we want to monitor. So we're going to click the add button. We're going to go down to system other. Here we go. We're going to expand that and we're going to go down to server storage usage. Okay. Scroll down to the bottom and click OK. So we're now going to select the device that we want to look at. So device view and first we're going to look in servers but of course it's not here because this is a virtual server so it's in the virtual settings. I'm going to click on the device series here a couple times so we get the uh, the one box up at the top, there we are, Windows Server, 10.101.205, good to go. So we're now going to switch this to the monitoring instance, right? This gives us a slightly different view, um, and we're going to be able to see which um, of, of the instance, the index we're trying to monitor, what's available on this box from an SNMP standpoint. So for this one, we want just the C drive. That's all I'm really concerned about. I don't care about the floppies. Um, Labels C colon, there we go. There's a serial number. Don't have to worry about the rest of it. Click OK. Um, and again, if you want to um, add the other ones, you can add as many drives or only the ones that you want. This is really a, a personal preference here. Click OK. There we are. Device addition has completed. And now we have um, started pulling this. So if we want to set up a view to actually see this, we're going to have to go into performance view. and click on add and we'll do this as a trend line so you can trend this over time you could also create a data grid again play with around with them um, see what you like so we're going to go system others again so this is the exact same one that we just had we're going to add the server storage usage we're going to click on the device button and we're going to again go back in and select the virtual device Click the device series twice, get the one on top. There we go. Click the down arrow to select it. And now we should see what is available in here for, for this specific device when clicking next. So I've set up monitors for all the, the server in here, so we're going to see them all. But again, the only one I'm really concerned about is the C drive, right? That's all I care about. So I will deselect everything except for the C drive. And I will click the Save button, and I've now created a custom view, right? So I need to, to, of course, put in the view name, so make it something descriptive. So in this case, this is a Windows disk space, right? I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click on the Close button. And so now we can actually go in and, and open this up. So we'll go and click on the Windows disk space. But of course, there's no data yet. So this is uh, this is going to require the system to wait until it started to populate with data. So while that's going on, let's go over and set up some thresholds. I'd actually like to be warned if um, 
if my disk space starts getting exceeded. So we're going to go back into monitoring settings. And again, we're going to click on this query button here, and we're going to search for the 10 101 205. Um, we could use the advanced view and look for everything within a specific performance view as well. There are some options here. Uh, but again, I know which one I'm looking at. So 10 1 205. Click on the instances button, and now I can see all the instances that are um, available in here. So I'm going to look for that storage C colon. I'm going to go over here on the right and click on the modify index. So as you can see from the index here, right now I'm using the global index settings. All right, so this will take whatever our global is, and if I wanted to change the global values, I could change it, go in global index, and change this for the entire system. But right now I want to do this just for one particular instance. So I'm going to enable the threshold, and I'm going to say that if it is greater than 80%, and for a, a, my uh, high level, high watermark, I'm going to go greater than 90%, um, I'm going to create a minor or a major alarm. Right? So now I will get an alarms if I pass those. Um, and of course, I can change the polling interval. So by default, will be 5 minutes or 300 seconds. I don't think disk space is going to change that much. So maybe I'll pull this on every 600 minutes, right? Every 10 minutes, um, 600 seconds, right? Maybe I want to do this at, at 10 minutes or hourly intervals. Really up to your your uh, your discretion at this point. So now that I have changed that, um, going forward, I'll be getting an alarm if I exceed disk space, right? This is always a good thing to do on your NMS, anyways, because you know things like flow data, things like that that start to fill up the drives. It's always good to be warned before that happens. So now that we've waited a little bit of time, uh, I'm going to go in here and click on the refresh button. And there we are. We now have a graph where we're showing we're at 76% utilization, um, fairly steady within the 10 minute period. So that's OK. Of course, these are uh, an active graph library. So I can click here and select the range and expand and view that exact range. So that's setting up disk space monitoring on your Windows servers. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.